Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will analyze the Electrodactus malware. This is part one of a two part series. In this part one, we will start off with the analysis of the initial dropper and we will extract the final payload. In part two, we will do the static analysis of the final payload. So let's get started. So here I am in my virtual machine. Before we start our analysis, let's look at the flow of the malware. The infection starts off with a phishing attack which contains a URL or a PDF file. This then executes a JavaScript based stage one dropper. These JavaScript connects to a C2 to download an MSI file. The JavaScript then proceeds to execute the MSI file. The MSI file executes the DLL inside it. The DLL makes a copy of itself to a new location and starts executing from the new location. The DLL which is then executing from the new location connects to the C2 server for further communication and action. Let us now proceed with the analysis. So here I have the stage onejs file which is the JavaScript based dropper that we discussed in the flow. Let me open up this file in Visual Studio Code. We can see a couple of things. This file is fairly large. It contains around 1,900 lines. Let's look at the initial lines. We see that there are lines that start off with slash slash space. And then there are lines that start off with four slashes. The difference here is that the slash slash space lines are actual comments and garbage. And the lines that start off with four slashes look like they are valid JavaScript uh, base code. So I have written a clean file.py, which is a regex based uh, cleanup algorithm written in Python. So it is looking for the lines that start off with slash slash and space and removes those lines. And then there are lines that start off with four slashes. It removes the four slashes and keeps those lines. This file looks for stage one dot js and the output of the cleanup is stage two dot js. So let me execute this. And we see that we have we see that we have stage two dot js. If you look here, we'll see that the code has been cleaned up, the comments have been removed, and these lines that are valid JavaScript based lines are now present here cleanly we can see some iocs here the first ioc 45.95.11.134 port 80 and it is connecting to the share folder from the same location another ioc here and then if you go down we will see that it is connecting to the same server to download the qual.msi file it, it is then using msi exec to execute that qual.msi file all right so this is a complete analysis of the javascript based dropper let me close this let us now move on to analyze the MSI file. I use Orca to analyze MSI files and this is a tool which is provided by the Windows SDK. So I will edit this with Orca. Go to custom actions in the launch file entry. We can see that this is launching a file called run DLL32 and the path of the DLL is going to be the local app data stat falcon.dll and the export entry is vgml. Hey, let me close this let us now extract the msi using uni extract so i will select uni extract here this is now going to give us a local app data folder if i click on this we have the start folder inside inside it we have the falcon.dll let me copy this and paste this in stage three now this falcon.dll is in fact a packed dll and inside there is another dll which we have to extract that will be the main payload so let us now proceed to unpack this dll i will open up x64 dbg file open run dll32 from here let me make sure that there are no breakpoints okay and now i'm going to change the command line path here I need to remove this old path 
and add the new path. Okay, so the new path has been added. The export is correct. Press OK. Now restart this. In order to debug a DLL in x64 dbg, we have to make two changes in the preferences. So go here and we have to select user DLL entry and user DLL load. I have done this previously, so I will cancel this. And now we have to look for the name of the DLL to be loaded here. So falcon.dll, press play and play. We now have falcon.dll file loaded here. So I will do a couple of things. Control G, I have to look for VGML. Put a breakpoint here, then go to virtual alloc. Go inside this virtual alloc and go to return. I will also go to virtual protect. And put a breakpoint here. Okay, now press play. We have hit our first breakpoint on virtual alloc return. I'm going to take this RAX, right click here, follow in dump one. Press play again. Here we have another uh, hit on our breakpoint, and we can see in the allocated memory we have our unpacked payload. Now, if I press play here again, this payload is going to start executing. So let me first dump this payload. Dump memory to file, go to our desktop, let to detect us and put it in stage four. Okay. We need to be careful that we should not uh, press play beyond this. Otherwise, it will make a copy of itself in another location and start executing from there. So we have to make sure that we stop here. If there is a chance that your VM has been infected, you will have to make sure that you revert back your virtual machine. This happened to me uh, while I was investigating this malware as well. Okay, so let me close this. And let us now go to stage four. If I drag and drop the stage four on IDA Pro, load resources, press OK. I have to go to any of these entries here. I will select run here, press F5 to open up the decompiler. Select this first function, go inside the first function again, and I have to go into this second function here. Now we will see a couple of things. If I go inside this first function, we can see that this is a hash. Second function, again, this is another hash. If I go to this third function, here we'll see some hashes being resolved again here. So we are now sure that this is the final unpacked payload. We will stop here for this video. In the next video, I'm going to start off with the analysis of the uh, final payload in IDA Pro. So I will see you in the upcoming video as well. Thank you very much for your time.